How's it going, LimFan fans? Welcome to another episode of LimFan's Reddit. For the next three episodes of LimFan's Reddit, we're going to be checking out revenge stories. So this week, we're going to be checking out r slash petty revenge. Next week, we're going to be checking out r slash pro revenge. And then the week after that, we're going to check out r slash nuclear revenge. We're going to be checking out the top three stories from each of these subreddits to kind of just compare them. And we're starting from the most mild type of revenge to the most drastic type of revenge. So, let's go for Petty Revenge. The third most popular story on r slash Petty Revenge, 23,500 upvotes. So, you know, it's got to be a good story that many people push upvotes, so let's read it. This happened a couple of years ago. It had snowed a bunch. I went out to clean a spot for my boyfriend at the time. I spent a while digging it out. And as I was finishing, some girl drove in and parked in it while I was still shoveling it. I told her I just dug it out, intending to use it, and asked her to move. She didn't. Whoa, I wonder what's gonna happen. Nothing bad, obviously. She then got out of the car and walked away. Turns out she lives two buildings down, so normally she wouldn't park there anyway. Our complex had a mini snow plow. The dude was plowing the area and saw this all go down. He helped me move all the snow from the pile. He just created, put it all around the car. We buried it up to the door handles, all sides. <laughs> oh, that's just, that's mean. Someone stole your car and that's what you do to them. I mean, come on. Can you say car face? The way you said it sounds like this stole a car, which is much more serious. I mean, come on, that's a bit harsh. He then dug a new spot for me. At least you got your spot in the end. Saw her later trying to dig her car out. It turns out she didn't have a shovel. Because I'm petty, I went out and reshoveled the sidewalk from the lot up our building and threw all of the snow on her vehicle while I did it. Then went inside and took my shovel with me. The second most upvoted post on r slash petty revenge has 28.3 thousand upvotes. So I'm married to a wonderful woman. She's smart, very funny and kind. Her mother is generally very nice and tends to have a great attitude and be very enjoyable. Enjoyable is a bit of a weird way to describe your mum's wife. Other way around. Fuck, what did I just say? Enjoy is a very strange way to describe your wife's mum. That's better. However, can be a bit of a major spoon. If my wife leaves her phone sitting around, she will just pick it up and start going through it. My wife has kind of laughed this off. As remnant of her mum being controlling when she was a kid. I'm not a fan of this because my wife and I will sometimes be texting things that simply don't involve her mother. So over one Christmas, my wife set her phone down on the kitchen computer. Linda, that's that kitchen counter. What the fuck is a kitchen computer? And I had a brilliant idea. Here comes the revenge, ladies and gentlemen. Her mum was still in the kitchen and I sent my wife the most sexually devoted text about all the things I was going to do to her when everyone left. Oh my god, what a legend. Honestly, most of them are things we haven't even done. Oh my gosh. If you're sending your wife messages for your mother-in-law to see your stuff you haven't done yet, I don't even want to know what the fuck you sent in that text. But I had to make it extra scary. Linda, that's a scaring. Not even close to scary. I sent this text from the bathroom. And maybe it was my imagination. But I swear I could hear audible gasps. Shortly after, her phone went off. When I went out, her mum would absolutely not look at me in the eye. Then not so disgustingly asked her daughter to come and talk in the other room. When my wife came back into the living room, I thought she had been crying. However, upon closer inspection, she was laughing. Her mother had questioned her about me sexually abusing her. <laughs> and if 
I always talk down to her like that. My wife had told her kindly that what we is between us and us only probably the best Christmas gift. <laughs> God, it was so that was so explicit that your mother thought that he was abusing her. That's hilarious. And the number one petty revenge story has 53.7 thousand upvotes. So I broke up with my boyfriend around two months ago, just after his birthday. Well, that's mean, okay? You can't break up with someone just after their birthday. You have to wait for at least six months after their birthday. I got him VIP concert tickets for both of us to go see some rap guy he really loves. Naturally, we're not going to go anymore after we broke up. Yeah, because that would be really weird. I kind of forgot about the tickets and wrote them off as money lost since I can't sell them because you need my ID along with the tickets to get in. That's gonna be important. There literally is no reason for revenge at this point. But let's get reading. But this morning, a mutual friend texted me asking me if I know about him still going to the concert. Apparently, he booked a hotel room for him and this new girlfriend near the venue and is planning to, on enjoying the concert with her. I wasn't mad about this since it was his birthday gift. And even though I broke up with him because he was being abusive, I still wanted him to enjoy the evening with his new girlfriend. Only problem now is the ID thing, but I was feeling generous. So I wanted to send him a copy of my ID and give the venue a heads up. Let them know it was alright for him to use my tickets. Before this could even the part of where he needs my ID, he already told me to mind my own damn business and fuck myself. Okay, now things are becoming serious, let's go. Wasn't really in the mood to get insulted, so I wished him a great time at the concert and blocked him. Have fun driving, two plus hours later, a concert, you're not getting in, buddy. Oh, yes. Fuck yeah. What a great revenge story. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give me a like. If you thought these revenges were pretty crazy, this is the most mild version of revenge on Reddit. So, things are getting insane the next two weeks. So, be sure to subscribe to that. And, yeah. Uh, all my recent videos are now around me. I'm not going to bother point to all of them. I'll see you guys next week for Pro Revenge!